so far neglected my duties already and not even edited my vlog for yesterday, day five, but by the time you see this, it'll obviously be up, so it doesn't matter because time doesn't matter. But anyways, I've already read five books for five days of the reading rush, so today I'm on my sixth book and I'm breaking my TBR completely. I'm going to read Death in Her Hands. This is a new book that I got that I just really want to read right now and I was not liking The Turn of the Screw. All I had left was Ceremonials and Her Body and Other Parties, which I do really want to read Her Body and Other Parties, but like I'm just not in the mood for Ceremonials. So reading this one, uh, it's fairly short and one of the challenges is to read a book completely outside of your house. Today I am outside of my house. We're running errands, uh, getting a car inspection, donuts, coffee, all the good things. So I will read as much of this as I can on the road and at the car inspection shop just waiting for the car to be done and then if I saw the finish I'll just read it out on my patio at home. But that's the agenda for today. See you later. hard to hear me with all these cars sitting by, but I have been reading Death in Her Hands while I've been on excursions, and I have gotten to chapter two, which is like 51 pages in. So far, nothing's happening, um, but I feel like it's going to be important, so I don't know. We're in a cabin with this old woman, and it's just her and her dog, and she found this letter in the woods that says... Um, her name was Magda. No one will ever know who killed her. It wasn't me. Here's her dead body. And then she's just kind of having like an existential crisis about if that's real, what it means, who it could be, blah, 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 what's going on. She's just like with her dog. And that's kind of all that's happened so far. So interested to see what's going to happen. I am outside as you can see, but it is very hot. So I uh, will see how long I can stay out here, but we'll probably have to like read the whole book outside by being, you know, like at a window really close to outside. We'll just have to cheat a little bit because it is hot. feels like a free time for an update so uh, I'm inside as you can see it's hot out there and it's about to storm so windows sure we're like close outside I mean I've broken every other rule of the reading rush so far so who even cares at this point not me update on the book um I'm almost halfway through if you can see I mean pretty close to halfway through you can see my dog he destroys the entire couch too but nothing is happening in this book and uh, I'm hoping it's gonna build up to something really dramatic I hope if it doesn't then I don't know what I'm gonna think of it because it's literally so far just this woman lives in this small cabin with her dog she's grieving her husband's loss and so she thinks about him like all the time and she's thinking all about this note that she found and she goes to the library and tries to figure out that like if there's a magda nearby that's all she has is the first name she's like is there a magda nearby she hardly even knows how to use the internet and that is all that's happened so i'm hoping for the best hoping it picks up um but i don't know if it will but what else have i done today i have finally updated updated edited my day five vlog that's up now definitely would have been up anyway by the time you were watching this so it doesn't matter but like just know 
I got my life together and it's up now. And what else? Oh, I've done the photo challenge of the day, which was to take a photo of your, or it was either your reading fuel, I think was what it was called, but like the hashtag was RR snacks. So it could have been food or coffee, but mine was coffee. I'll throw the photo up right here. And that is what I've done today. That's the whole of my day. I'm hoping to finish this book in the next couple of hours and see if it's amazing or if kind of nothing happened. But like, I just feel like it's gotta be good, right? Like something's gotta happen. I don't know. Hoping for the best. Um, but yeah, until then, I, mm, do I wanna organize my bookshelves? No. Do I need to organize my bookshelves? Yes. Might do that. Don't hold your breath though, because I might not do that. So um, in the next clip you're gonna see is either going to be me organizing my bookshelves or telling you more about this book. So it's kind of like a choose your own adventure, except you don't get to choose. It's just gonna be whatever happens next. So why don't you guess what's gonna happen? Do you think I'm actually gonna organize my bookshelves or do you think I'm just gonna sit here and keep reading this book and then tell you about it? Keep watching to see. Look at that. I am actually here at the bookshelf. That's amazing. Did anyone guess that that would happen? I didn't think that would happen, but it happened. I'm here. This is happening. So I have my books all over the floor around me in a bunch of different stacks. This is just the new bookcase I got. It's a Billy bookcase from Ikea and I've been wanting it for a very long time and it's a really big deal that it's in my home. So I'm super excited about it. I have a bunch of other bookcases around the apartment and just like general places I put books. So this is going to be like my best of the best of what I've read so far. Like these are books that I would talk about in some capacity. There's going to be some that I don't love, but pretty much if you see it on this shelf, I definitely read it and I at least sort of appreciated it or I super loved it depending on what it is, but we'll see what happens and then I'll kind of tell you how I organize it because I don't know, it's kind of a mystery to me right now. So we'll see what happens. So this is what I have. There's more that you can't see, so I'll tilt the camera. But basically we have a lot of thrillers up here. There are a couple of books that I have multiple copies of, like Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. I have the Book of the Month version, but then I also got it, um, I just got it on my own because this one actually glows in the dark. I'm like, yeah, I needed that. Um, but anyway, those, and I have In the Dream House on display here because that's like my favorite book ever, even though it's not a thriller, it's a memoir, but like it has those vibes and this is just where I thought it looked beautiful. Um, on this next shelf, also all thrillers. Um, I like to keep my authors together. So those are all my Rick Wares, my Liam Moriarty's, um, and then no one else is like a bunch, but we have Bunny on display here. This is actually a horror, not a thriller, but um, had some horrors mixed in on the shelf as well. So felt like a good one to kind of advertise on the shelf. Then down here, we have my contemporary shelf. So that side is more like young adult. And then these are more adult. And Ask Again Yes is the one we have on display here, of course, because oh my God, that looks so good. And then everything else down here um, is just kind of a work in progress. So those are my nonfiction books, any memoirs, two copies of Wild Game, as you can see, um, and a couple other nonfiction y things. Then we have true crime books, um, including Stay Sexy, Don't Get Murdered, which, you know, I don't know if you'd call that true crime, but kind of. And then just the two stragglers over there, books that I don't really love and like might not keep anyway. Um, and if you see the very bottom, those are books that I am unhauling and getting rid of, but I just wanted something to weigh down the bottom of the shelf so it doesn't topple over because I don't do the whole like screw it onto your wall thing. So those are just there for support right now. But I left the top completely open 
and there's also plenty of room to like reorganize and move things around and kind of figure out what I want to do with all this new space. So I'm excited uh, to see what I do with it, but I am happy with how it's looking. Anyways, that's all my film for today. I'm going to close the vlog out here since it is like eight o'clock. Um, I've read some more of Death in Her Hands and still not a dang thing has happened. So we'll see what happens there. Hoping to finish that one tomorrow and I'll keep you posted on it. But until then, I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye. At all.